Here we go! Alright, welcome back. This is a tutorial on the 1 to 50 scale resurgent class star destroyer this is one of the final ones that we needed to do out of this lineup however um the ones that are here i've just noticed there's a carpet missing there as well um the ones that are here have been updated since the tutorials so they would um get a remake at some point in the near future as well um, but we'll we'll do those another time this is kind of like the last one that we really needed to do um excluding the acclimator which is a very very tiny little thing there and it's still, even at this scale, pretty massive. Um, over there, you can kind of see the outline of a 1 to 10 scale model, which would just be massive. Um, even the ISD is absolutely huge. It's probably too big for a tutorial, that. So the uh, 1 to 10 resurgent, most likely never going to happen, um, in a tutorial sense anyway. It's a... I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really like the resurgent um, as a ship. I much prefer the Imperial model. Um, obviously, this one is in the sequel trilogy so this was used by the first order and then the final order as well and yeah i don't i don't really like it um i just don't like how flat it is overall um i mean it's still pretty cool i guess but it doesn't like even hold a candle to this um sadly uh, this bit on the front's kind of cool i like how it's got like a kind of hook on the bottom of the front of the ship which is kind of cool as well i do like this bit with the um I mean, if you play Battlefront 2, you can see that there's like gaps in between here, uh, like trellising, and you can fly between them, and there's uh, all little landing spots for TIE fighters and stuff. I do like that. I, I think that's quite a good thing. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a medium to large size tutorial. It'll probably take about an hour, an hour and a half is a guess. Um, Probably going to start doing the intro after I've recorded the tutorial, then I can give you an accurate estimation of, of how long it's going to be. But yeah, anyway, let's go on to the actual build. We'll do layers one and two together, as the very bottom one is just trapdoors. And this build is going to be fairly difficult, um, but you'll see the difficulty rating at the start of the video anyway, so you'll know exactly what you're getting into. But yeah, on to section number one. Right, so to start this off, take these materials, stone, polished andesite, andesite, stone bricks, smooth stone slab, stone slab, polished andesite slab, iron trap door, and then a temporary block as well. Building towards the purple and green crystals, that's the front of our build, make sure you uh, bear that in mind. So we're going to start by taking some temporary blocks. We're going to do two, and then four here at the front, and then four at the back, with a gap of one in between. The reason I did this weird spacing and um, was just because I tried like three wide and two wide and they were, none of them really fit in a, in a symmetrical sense so I didn't really want to do that. Take the iron trap door, you're going to do just one on the front and then on the back it's going to be one, two, three and four. Take the, let's see, uh, stone brick block, put that on the first one of this four and then just a, like there basically above the gap. Um, and that's fine. Take the stone slab and we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six top half ones. Take the stone block, just one here. And then polished andesite one and two. Then going to do another stone block just on this polished andesite. And then again on that side should be uh, equal to this trap door here. Do another stone slab, another stone slab on that side. And then one just on the front, two more iron trap doors. That's fine for now. Um, throw away the iron trap door and we're going to get a stone stairs. I don't know why I got three of them, it was weird. <laughs> one goes there, one here as well. One on that side and then one on that side. You can throw away that stone stair for now, we don't need it um, for a little bit. Take the stone block, one and two. Polished on the side, one in the middle, two on either side. Two on either side, there we go. Another two stone blocks and another two. And now what we're going to do is go back a layer basically, do two stone bricks there, two here. It's very similar to what we did for the Razor Crest, so just a lot of, a lot of stone, a lot of greys and everything, so two andesite, two andesite, one stone in the middle, next layer down, we're then going to do a uh, stone bricks on the ends, and then polished andesite on either side 
and the side here and there. And uh, polished on either side and then in the middle it's going to be a stone bricks. Final layer back, two stone on the ends. And then it's a stone bricks. Then it's a stone. And then a stone bricks in the middle. Just grab a polished and the side and we're going to do basically the where the engines are, it's sort of like the bottom back of that and it sort of slopes down, so that's what this is. So two of the polished andesite stairs, smooth stone slab on either side, one there, one there, and then this in the middle is going to be another iron trap door. So you should end up with that. Uh, take the smooth stone slab again, one here, three stone, one here, three stone. And then the final thing is just a load of slabs here. It's going to be in this section of three. Three smooth stone, polished. One, two, one, two, that's on either side. Two smooth stone in the middle, three there. Same again on this side, we'll just do it a little bit quicker. Three, one, two, and then the polished on the side literally just circles around it like that. And that is going to do it for the first section. I know that was a pretty uh, hefty first section, but it does give us like a good place to start off with. Um, this is mainly the back. This is the life support um, kind of bubble on the bottom. And it does go a lot higher and a lot <laughs> further forward. So let's crack on with that. Uh, layer number three technically is what's going to come on screen. So yeah, let's go. Right, starting off at layer number three. If we go to the... Uh, ignore that chat there. <laughs> if we go to the front here, put a polish on the side just on that block here. Keep the same materials, and we might as well. There's pretty much all of those used in this uh, section as well. And the side stone, and the side stone, and then three top half stone slabs. And then I'm going to take your temporary block, and we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three top half iron trap doors again. Uh, one two and three okay throw that trap door away we don't need that for oh we need it one more time in this layer but we'll have to go come back to that in a minute uh, so you've got to here where the polished andesite is and then we go backwards we're going to do a stone bricks then it's going to be a andesite and then it's going to be another stone bricks just like that to the uh let's see to the left of that stone bricks do an andesite there andesite there and then we're going to take the stone stairs again and do one there, one facing that way. Same again. Just like that. Uh, this is going to be a stone slab here and then a polished andesite. So like that. And then if we... Let's do just one material at a time here. If you want to take the smooth stone slab, go to where this stone brick uh, uh, full block is. Do two, two one one to the right by one two three four to make five in total and then this one goes over there and joins up we'll do that again on this side so one two three four five or it was four sorry four one two three four five there this joins up to here two there like that take the andesite slab now did we have it on this layer no that's a full block yeah grab an andesite slab And that's going to go all the way over here. Just one, two, skip one, one, two. And there as well. Take the polished andesite slab and we're going to do three in the middle. Uh, just there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Another one is going to go one, two, and join that up to there. One, two, join that up to there. And the rest are just going to be stone. Um, so top half stone slabs, all of these, just like that. Okay. So the next section back is going to be here, and we're going to take our full blocks again. Take these stone bricks, do two, two. Uh, stone on either side, stone bricks again. It's going to be two polished underside. Oh, sorry, not polished, just normal underside there, and then it's going to be the polished ones, two of those, just like that. There's going to be two stone here, andesite, stone bricks, andesite, stone, stone bricks, and then it's going to be polished andesite. This one is going to be stone bricks, polished, andesite, stone, two of those, 
polished andesite stone. And this one is going to be stone bricks on the right hand side, stone, stone bricks. Polished, two stone, polished, and then normal andesite. Then it's going to be top half stone slabs all the way across there, just up to the uh, last full block. It's there essentially. Now we'll do the same on the other side. Um, so two, one. I might speed this up actually. Um, so yeah, I'm going to quickly do that. Okay, and then from there, take the stone bricks again, do one, um, and a site, and then a stone. Same there, brilliant. And then stone slabs, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Say it simpler, three by three with the stone slabs. Okay. And then the final bit on the back here is going to be polished and site. Three there like that, one in front. Well, I guess technically behind if we're building towards the back, but whatever. Take the polished andesite stairs. That's going to be one here and one there as well. And do another polished uh, andesite stair there. Another one here and then polish andesite one, two, three. Three on that side. And then this is going to be a stone bricks here and there as well. And then polished andesite one there. And then one inwards like that. Okay. Stone bricks again. We're going to put one there. And one on this side. This is going to be an andesite block here. Andesite block here. Also a stone. Uh, sorry. Smooth stone slab. There. And on this side. And then on the outside here. It's going to be smooth stone slab. Stone slab. And then it's going to be an iron trap door. Just on this final block here like that. Uh, so same again, just like so. So you should end up with this, um, which is yeah a, a weird shape, but it will it will turn into something eventually. We're gonna grab birch trap doors now and where these uh, what are they called uh, polish andesite stairs are. Do a top half one there, top half one there, and then in the middle we're gonna do another one. Just leave it floating for now because we need to add some slabs here. And um, so it's gonna be three polished andesite slabs in the middle and then the rest is just going to be stone so four of those four of those like that and then finally coming over to the outside bit here uh, go at a diagonal from where we did the three by three and we're going to do a smooth stone slab one two three and then two there so yeah, it's a very strange shape so far but it will turn into something and um, eventually <laughs> it's just going to take a while and yeah, that is layer three done. So let's move on to layer number four. Right, so layer number four, wasn't it? Yeah. We're going to start right at the back here in a very odd place. Right, we're going to take the uh, light blue stained glass. And we're going to do one there on top of the birch trap door. One there and one there. Now this layer is probably one of the biggest. The middle like sandwich layers essentially are always the biggest for these kinds of builds. Um, happened with the acclimator, happened with this one. Um, you know, it's just how it is. So the bottom sandwich layer, which we're working on now, probably just going to do half of it, and then the other half will be done off camera because there is a lot. This is a very, very big layer, um, and I am going to die. And um, this is truly not a poggers moment, and this is an absolute stinker. So let's just uh, let's just crack on with it, basically. Um, throw that away. You don't need that for for now um, until the next layer or anything. Polish andesite stairs on either side of the blue stained glass, light blue, sorry. And then we're going to take the stone stair as well. And do one on either side. And then we need a polished andesite block. Then this is going to be a andesite here. In fact, I would act, yeah, polish andesite there, there, and obviously on that one, but I'm not going to do that side. Just the left hand side is what I'm going to do for this one. Uh, take a stone brick wall, we need that very briefly, and that's going to go just there. 
and on this one as well, and then a polished underside there, polished underside goes behind that. Um, I don't remember what I threw away, it was probably smooth stone slab I think. Uh, so grab that back, and we're going to go to here and we're going to take our polished underside stairs, do two there facing that way, and then one, two, um, and then corner this one. And again on this side, one, two, corner this one. Take polished underside, two of those, and then a um, this block, chiseled stone bricks. I said it, yeah, I said it. I didn't stutter that time. Ooh, um, it's a constant running joke if you don't know that I just can't say chiseled stone bricks for some reason, and I stutter with it every single time. Um, but I'll I'll still try. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's just a little inside joke, I suppose. Uh, take that again, the same block, another one is going to go there, so it's sort of inset um, there. I'm going to do another uh, light blue stained glass pane, like that. Two polish on the site in front of it, and then an andesite. This is going to be a stone, and then we're going to do an andesite. This is going to be smooth stone slabs, we're going to do two of those, top half. Three top half thin slabs. And then it's going to be five top half polished andesite slabs. Uh, if we move outwards here, we'll do the outside first, move uh, forward to the inside in a, in a minute. I'm going to go to the first of the five polished andesite slabs and do one, two, three. And this is going to be stone. This is going to be two smooth stone. This is going to be a polished andesite block stone uh, this is going to be two polished andesite and then two stone next layer outwards polished andesite stairs is going to go there like that two polished andesite one stone brick polished andesite one and then polished andesite uh, top half slabs one two three four next layer out again this is going to be a stone brick full block andesite, stone, andesite. This is going to be a top half polished andesite slab. And then finally, two smooth stone slabs there like that. Uh, going to this bit here. So we've got the stairs there, the polished andesite. We're going to skip all this area here. You can fill this in if you want to, and I'm going to just to make it a bit easier for placing blocks. I'm just going to use uh, cyan terracotta like that. This is going to be andesite. And then we're going to take stone bricks, two of those. Polished. Andesite. Stone brick. Two stone, one polished. Three andesite. One stone, one polished, one stone. Two andesite, one polished. Polished, andesite, stone brick. And then this one is andesite, stone brick, andesite. Then take smooth stone slab one, two, three, and then go across by one, two, three, um, four, five, six to make it seven in total along that row. And then also inwards by two, and leave that there for now. Go to the end of this, and we're going to do a andesite four block, um, and then polished stone brick, two andesite stone brick, stone, and then andesite. Do two top half polished andesite slabs there, and then we'll fill this bit in here now. That's going to be two stone slabs on the right, a two by two with the polished. There's going to be two andesite slabs. Um, we used it before, where is it? I uh, can't find one. Oh well, I'll just get it from the inventory. It's fine. So the andesite slab, it's going to be two of those here and then two stone ones, like that. Do a, let's see, take the smooth stone slab, go to the full block of andesite here, and we're going to do, uh, I think it's nine of those, or it might be eight actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we'll work it out in a minute anyway. Um, so another... 2x2 two two with the polished andesite slabs like that to make a 3x2 uh, in total there. It's going to be 3 andesite slabs here. 
um, one smooth stone slab and then another andesite slab there like that. Should leave you two on the end there, which is correct. Taking our four blocks again, we're going to go to the row of eight uh, smooth stone that we just did. We're going to do a stone bricks here, two polished andesite, and then stone bricks uh, there, two polished andesite in front, and then join that up in the middle. Obviously, that'll go onto the uh, right hand side. You can kind of see the shape, uh, you know, taking form now, which is good. Two andesite are going to go there. One down, one stone on the left. Stone bricks here, polish on the side. Take the smooth stone full block now. That was loud, I don't know what that was. Um, I think that was origin actually. One, two, three, four, five there like that. So it should leave a three gap in the middle. Um, it should be two away from the slabs there. And we're going to take two stone Polished, polished, andesite. Two stone bricks. One polished, two stone bricks. And then just take your polished andesite again. And we're going to go to these stone bricks here. One, two, three. And then this is a top half polished andesite slab, I think, this time. There we go. Take the uh, polished andesite top half slab one and two and then this is all going to be like pretty much slabs from this point forward there's just one little row of full blocks and then we're done with those for now stone is going to go on top of the iron trap door there polished stone bricks polished stone bricks and then two stone you're going to do two top half stone slabs one top half smooth stone slab two uh, stone slabs here just making sure I'm doing it right yeah and then four top half smooth stone slabs do a one to the left and right on that one on this one here is going to be to the side by two on either side makes it five and then if we come to the final full block here which is the stone we're going to take the smooth stone slabs and do three top half Three top half. So you can kind of see the shape building up now. And um, like I said. So take your stone slab. We're going to get all those out of the way. All the stone ones to begin with. We're going to do two here. Two, 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 two. All the way across. And then down by one there. Skip two and do two more here. There's a lot of twos. Yeah. Uh, carrying on with the stone slab. Uh, go to here. And we're going to do... Uh, let's see. One, two, and then polish under site slabs, fill that in. Over to here, two there, and then for these gaps here, it's going to be stone brick slabs this time. So one, two, three, and four, and then one, two, and three for that one. So you should kind of see like a taper of either three or four blocks, it depends on um, which. Because it's not exactly three blocks every single time. It should go three, 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 four. Um, and then, I don't know, it does some other stuff as well. But <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, we need iron trap doors now. So grab those. And there's going to be a lot of these, all right? Um, come to the front where we did the four top half slabs. We're going to do three iron trap doors. And then another stone slab. And then an iron trap door one and two. Um, so you've got the three here, we're going to go on the second one and then down to make five in total. And then the second one of these five, one, two, three, four, five again. The first one, one, and then two, three, four. And this one is just going to be uh, one and then one there as well. So you should get that for the front. And I'm just checking it's all, all good. Yeah, it looks like it. The one iron trap door here. And then three, and then four, and then three, and then one's just going to go there on its own. Skip one and two, and then do one here. Three, four, three, four, and this one's three, 
Um, and then this one's one. Right, and then from there, um, I think I think that might be everything. Um, finally. <laughs> yeah, there's no way that I'm going to do all that on the other side um, on camera. So yeah, if you just um, restart to the beginning of this layer, if you, if you need to, if you can mirror it you know, by eye, then by all means go for it. Um, I know some people say they'd rather me do it all on camera, but for layers like this, I just can't. It just it'd take too long. Um, I don't want to over extend the length of the tutorial just for the sake of it. And it does absolute numbers on my voice. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to do it on, on camera. That's like the main reason I don't do super long videos is, is the voice. Um, I know a lot of people who make tutorials tend to not do the voice. I can see, I can see why it's <laughs> really horrible. Um, yeah. So get that copied over and we'll move on to the, I think it's a sandwich in the layer next. So like the, um, the detail in the middle. So let's do that. Right, so next layer up, we don't really need uh, many slabs on this one, so materials I've got are not a poppy, you don't need a poppy, uh, you need stone, andesite, polished andesite, stone bricks, sand terracotta, we need that a fair bit, polished andesite stairs, light grey carpet, grey carpet, and then this light blue stained glass, we will need a few other things as well, but we'll start with the blue stained glass, we'll be working on just one side again, I think, um, I may do both if, if it's not too bad, but I'm thinking there's a fair chance that I'll just copy over again. If that's all right, grab the polished underside. So you've done one on either side there, and then it's two polished underside, two polished underside, and again in the middle, exact same thing, like that. Do another light blue glass there, another light blue glass there, and then this one is going to be a sea lantern right behind it. There and that. Then this is going to be polished underside, full block with stone brick walls on both sides to uh, kind of round out that bit that we're working on here. Um, so there we go, like that. Um, now I'm pretty sure um, I might be wrong, but I think that the next layer up is going to be the exact same as this one here. So if you want to, you can do another stone brick wall there. Polished andesite, one there like that. Um, and then I think it was another one, wasn't it? Yeah. And then the stone stairs, we're going to go here here then the polished underside there and there and this one was a another glass with a birch trap door on top and then also just do birch trap doors on the side like that and um, don't forget to do that take the light blue stained glass pane and for a bit of extra engine effect you can add another one in the middle there and then one on either side and then also one below and one above so you get that do the same on this one uh, real quick and um, so it's good to just get the engines out of the way so that we don't have to keep getting the because uh, it's got kind of like a unique set of materials for the engines really so it's good to just get them out of the way so that we don't have to keep grabbing their materials and um, so there we go that's that bit and then stone brick wall there I think that was about everything wasn't it yeah that should be fine uh, from there, take the andesite block now. Um, we're going to do uh, polished andesite, one, two, three in the middle. Two andesite, stone brick. It's going to be andesite. Um, and then we need stone. One of those. Polished, stone brick. Polished, stone brick. Polished, andesite this time and then a cyan terracotta. Do another andesite just behind that cyan. Take the stone brick wall, very briefly, we're just going to put one there, and also dark oak fence gate, just there like that. And don't flip it actually, leave it as it is. From there, take the cyan, and we're going to do a lot, we're going to do a lot of cyan, so three of those, and then a diagonal is going to be four, diagonal, three and then diagonal four again with one inwards take your polish on the site and on the second set which should be a four here it's going to be one polish there one and site here and then three polish on the site right at the end here like that take the stone brick wall and we're going to do one and we might as well get all the stone brick walls out of the way here one there and um, one here one here 
One in the middle is going to go there. One there like that. And then we're going to do two here. And then one, two, and three there like so. Take the stone bricks, one and two. One upwards into the middle. One polished, two stone, and then this is going to be cyan, two of those. Diagonal three, diagonal four, diagonal three. This is going to be a stone stair just here with a stone brick wall. And then go inwards with a stone block, one there like that. Stone brick wall, uh, not wall, just a stone brick, sorry. Like that. And then three polished andesite in the center. Two andesite are going to go along the center line like that, going backwards now. Two polished. And then one stone brick. Take a stone block, that's going to go here. Polished there, and then one, two, three, four, five, three polished. And that would obviously carry on to the uh, other side around there like that. Take the polished andesite stairs. We're going to use those very briefly to fill in what is essentially the hangar area. And um, is there a stone uh, polished andesite stairs? Oh yeah, there's some at the back. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five. Five on that side, and then this is going to be five stone brick slabs um, in in the middle. Um, so we used stone brick slabs. I thought we had, but I can't seem to find one. Let's grab it out of the inventory. So yeah, five top half stone brick slabs, just like that, and that finishes that bit off, which is good. Um, so coming back to the row of cyan that we did here. We're going to go to this one, put an andesite. This one is going to be stone and polished. And then this one here is going to be... Uh, what should we do this? Let's see. If you do five, sign across there. It'll make it easier to do. Um, polished there. Stone bricks. Polished. And then andesite. Stone bricks. And then polished. And that's fine. Right, and then for the other details, grab yourself an anvil. We're going to do the anvils now, get those out of the way. The first anvil is going to be on the little one with the L shape, basically. Um, I'm going to do one just on the left of the wall and then one on the right of it. And that's actually all the anvils, apart from on the other side. Take hoppers. I'm going to use those a little bit. I recommend putting these ones facing the wall like that so the bottom uh, is cut off. There are two hoppers on each side. One is going to go on this final set of three here. And then one is also going to go on this uh, little set of two, which is there. Like that. I'm going to now do the with the uh, skeleton skulls. So grab those. The first one is going to be on this very outside section here. One there. And then one on either side of this wall. The next one is going to be on this set of three next to the andesite and polished. And that's going to be on the right hand side. There's going to be another one here next to the anvils. Another one, or two actually, is going to go. And we actually didn't finish off the stone brick walls, which was a big mistake. So grab those back and we'll do those at the same time. There's a stone brick wall here. And a stone brick wall there and there. And the gaps are going to be with the skeleton skulls. There's going to be another stone brick wall here. And that's fine. Take a stone button. I think you only need this once on the detail layer. And that's going to go just there. Like that. The next detail is going to be a polished andesite stair. I think we only need this once as well. That's going to go on this set of uh, three, which is there, with the stone brick wall and the skeleton skull. That's going to be facing the stone brick wall. Uh, now we need grindstones. I think this might be the last or second to last detail we need. Grindstones can go in any direction that you want them to. Up, down, left, right. doesn't matter at the scale. Um, I normally just do all of them up. Although you can have them facing that way or that way. Normally I do them sideways like that. And so two there. And then there's going to be another one. But I put it this uh, that way, sorry, like that. There's another one here. But this one's going to be sideways like that. And we do need another stone button actually. That one's just going to go here. And I think that's all of the details on the outside, which is good. It's good to go get those out of the way. Um, so yeah, that's... Fine, I think there's might be something here, I don't know. I don't 
Can't really see on my uh, on my reference model. We'll find out next layer anyway. Um, so this back bit is pretty much done, like for this layer. So if you go to the front now, I'm going to take our polish and side stairs. These are pretty crucial to this bit. These are going to be forming all the trellises for which starships can fly through. We're going to do one on the stone here. And we're also going to take our grey carpets and light grey carpets because I am aware that I got rid of those during the whole material section. The light grey ones are going to go on the uh, left hand side basically and then the grey ones are going to go in the middle. So I've done four grey ones, four light grey ones on either side. And then on the outside here, you've done this there facing forward, one, two, three light grey carpets and two there. Take the uh, the stairs again, we're going to do another one just here facing forwards. And while you're there, do a grey carpet there, grey on that side might as well. So you've done that one, one there, and then we're going to do two polished hand side stairs facing towards the back, like that. This is going to be a grey one, light grey, grey, light grey. This is going to be one here facing towards the front. Light grey carpet there. One and two facing towards the back. This one's going to be a grey one, light grey, grey. We're then going to take another light grey carpet here. And then we need grindstones. One is going to go uh, kind of upside down. One is going to be normal. I've got the normal one just here facing that way. And then the one here is going to be upside down. So I'll do that just like so. The uh, idea here is that the starfighters can actually fight, because uh, there's going to be like a block on top of this. The starfighters can go through that little gap there and then underneath the gap on the next one, which is uh, just a nice little course for them to go on, I suppose. And that was my train of thought with this anyway. Um, whether or not it works in practice is, is completely up to you. So put a, we need another Willis, uh, Willis, I don't know, what does that mean? With a skeleton skull, that's better. That's going to go just here, facing towards the back. And then do grey carpets just towards the front like that. Do another... Where is it there, actually? Where is it? Is it five or four long? It might be another one across, yeah, like that. So five in total. Mm, okay, and then from there, we're going to do a... Uh, is that all of them, actually? I feel like I'm missing some. I must be. Hmm. Maybe not. I guess when it goes on to the other side, it'll look more fleshed out. Um, on the front here, you're going to grab a stone and smooth stone and also polished andesite slab. Grab those, and then we'll be almost done with this layer, actually. So stone slab is going to be one there, and then polished andesite slabs. Actually, no, smooth stone slabs, you're going to do four of those. Polished andesite slab here, polished there as well. Okay. Okay. And I think that's that's everything, I think. Yeah, okay. So that's like pretty much the entire length of the ship. So you can kind of have a sense of how big this is compared to the platform. Um, it's pretty massive, actually. It's sort of similar in scale to the Razor Crest. So that's uh, pretty neat. And yeah, let's get that copied over again, skip to the uh, start of this layer, and then we can move on to the next one. So let's do that. Right, so next layer up, we're just going to quickly go back to the last layer. I don't know if this was an issue with me copying and pasting over or what, but there was a missing carpet here, and it just needs to go there like that, and there on that side as well. And I'm not sure what that was about. Probably just forgot about it. <laughs> but yeah, the next layer up is going to be pretty much all topside building, um, apart from a few stairs back here, but that's literally about it. Obviously, we've already done the engines for this layer, which is good. Just need to put a polished on the side there, there, and there again. Um, just like that. You can see from the, uh, well, I guess inside how that all comes together. Uh, take the polished andesite stairs now. I've got the wooden necks. Um, ignore that. I'm gonna grab the stairs like that, and then they're going to be over here. It's going to be one uh, there and two. And then we also need another one. Um, just. Actually, no, we don't need another one. We need a chiseled stone bricks, just there. And then a light blue stained glass paint. So we're building the opposite of what's down here now, which is fantastic. 
Yeah, so you've got that little bit there, and then we're going to take a stone full block. We're basically doing a mirror wall it's down here, essentially. Um, so just like that, and then this is going to be a stone bricks. Grab that, there we go. And then a smooth stone slab. Now do another smooth stone slab here, and we'll leave it there for now, because what we're going to do is build uh, on the engines just here. So take the polish on site stairs, and we're going to do one and two, and then one uh, and two, and then this one needs to curve around just like that. It's going to be two blocks of polished on the site, and this again, and the light blue stained glass pane. Again, for this one, I think this is probably the last layer we'll have to do this, but it will be just a case of mirroring over. Um, the rest from here on are pretty, pretty simple, so it's, it's fine. So coming back to this, uh, let me say, it, chiseled stone brick. <laughs> Go to there, take your kind of main building materials again. That was these four, and we're going to do uh, one, two, and three normal andesite, one stone, two stone bricks. Uh, diagonal to that is going to be polished andesite, full block, um, and then two stone. Stone bricks one, two, three. There's a bit more thickness to this bit though, so we're going to go back by one. Do a stone bricks there. This is going to be stone, polished, stone bricks, polished, stone bricks. And then back again by one. It's going to be polished, stone bricks, stone and the site. Uh, polished and then stone and then also an extra polished just here like that. Here, another polished on that one, stone there. And the side's going to go behind the polished one. And then a stone bricks. Do two stone, one and the side. Polish there, go back by one. This is going to be three and the side. And then one stone bricks, one and the side, one stone. And then again, this one has a bit more thickness. So if we go from this left side here, it's going to be andesite, stone, stone bricks, andesite, polished, stone bricks. From this one again, it's going to be polished, andesite, polished, andesite. Okay. Coming back to here, do another two polished andesite blocks, and then diagonal again, one, stone brick, two polished, Diagonal again, andesite, polished, andesite, polished, stone, andesite. This is going to be all uh, stone slabs, so we're going to do those now just to start this slope off. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five of those stone slabs like that. And then two iron trap doors, we'll just do this, get this out of the way. There we go. So now we have a lot of slabs and carpets to do, which is going to be absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Um, so I'm going to start with the slabs, and then we'll do the trapdoors after, and then we'll do the carpets. Make it as simple as I can. Throw away uh, the stairs, and you could probably throw away all the full blocks, but I don't know, it just seems like a waste. Um, so grab stone slab, smooth stone slab, stone brick slab, polished andesite slab, and andesite slab as well going to start off, we'll do uh, one material at a time, I think would be the easiest way to do this. So two polished andesite ones, we'll do the polish to begin with. Skip one and do two, skip one and do two. Uh, we don't use polished andesite slabs all the way up until we get to here. So this is where the set of three polished andesite are, which diagonal to this one here. I'm going to do one, two, three, and then to the side by two. And that is literally it. That's literally it for the polished andesite for this side. Take the smooth stone slab there, we'll do those. You've got the two here, we already did two more. And then we're gonna do two there as well. Don't use that again until all the way up here where we did the little uh, polished on the site thing. Two, and then to the right by two, and then three here, like that. And that's it for the smooth stone slabs, get rid of that. I'm gonna do stone brick slabs now. Go to this set of two here that we did. Two, two, and two. And then one, one, one. 
at a diagonal, one, two, three. And then where this set of two polished andesite here are on their own, we're going to do two there, two to the left of it, and then two there, like that. Skip one, do two here, and then one and two. And then come in over to where this is, it's going to be two stone brick slabs here. Skip one, do one there. That's going to be it for the stone brick slab, so let's move on to the stone slabs now. Or actually, we'll do andesite and then finish off with the stone. That'll make it a little bit easier. We only use two andesite slabs from what I can see. That's going to be here. That's going to be two of those. And the rest is going to be stone, and I'll do it all now. So one, two, two. Come into here. One, two, three, four. Two in that gap. One's going to go here. There's going to be two, I think that might be an andesite one there actually. I'll just use the andesite one again. It's going to be one there and then a stone one. So it's three andesite slabs on this side. Two stone here. One's going to go there, one there, and then also one just here. And that's it for the like main slopes. Now we just need the trap doors. I tried to keep like to the lowest number of these that I could possibly use. There's still a fair amount. Uh, more than I'd like, but again, it's just to help with the slopes. It's going to start off with uh, two here, and then two, two there. And we're just going to keep doing that, basically. Um, all the way up until we get to the front. Um, until we get to here. Just place one, I don't know where. Oh, there it's gone. So there, like that. You can see it's like a constant pattern, how it goes. Makes it a little bit easier, I suppose. Take the light grey carpet now. And we need a fair amount of these. There's going to be one there, two, um, three, and four. And then we're going to do... Uh, we'll go from the back, actually, make it a little bit easier. One there, three, three here, three there, three here. Um, when you get to here, actually, let me just double check. Uh, take another one, another one, and one there. Um, and then do one here. So skip these ones, because these are the walls. Leave the walls, because um, this is part of an indent, basically. So yeah, just leave leave that bit. Um, and then, let's see, it's really confusing now that I've done that. One, two, and then we're going to do one here. And then across by three. Like that. One, two, three. And then four, five, six. This is going to be five. Um, and one on top of the button as well. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're to here now. So it's going to be one, two, um, and three this time and this one is going to be four like that and then this one is going to be five like that so that is um yeah probably one of the hardest layers even though it's it's not particularly difficult in terms of, i think there's one there as well actually let me um just calculate this is there one there as well i don't know that's really confusing and um, four four one, I don't know. I'll have to check my reference model. We'll fix it next layer if it's if it's wrong. And the problem is when I'm copying and pasting this build, the carpets, um, if they're on top of anything that's not a solid block, have like a weird chance to just break and not copy across, which is annoying. But yeah, for, for now, just uh, do it as I described. And I'm going to check the reference model and just make sure everything lines up. Um, but yeah, get that copied across and then we'll move on to the next layer, which is going to be the start of the uh, superstructure on top. So yeah, carry on with that and we'll uh, get going. Right, so after uh, checking the carpets and stuff, there's actually one too many. So they need to, uh, you take this one out basically, the one on top of that wall. Um, yeah, that wasn't meant to be there. So yeah, you get this from above, which looks pretty nice. Very cool. Um, we're now moving on to the superstructure on top and then we'll move up to the kind of back where the engines are. That's like the top layer or close enough anyway. So we're going to start off, um, I have no idea actually, I'm going to have to jump cut this, which is a shame, but 
whatever. It's fine. Um, yeah, let's move on to the actual... Because We'll consider this take a fix. We'll consider it that. It's a fix. I fixed it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, next layer, let's go. Right, so if we go down to here, um, I know it said the last take was a fix, but I actually missed something from the last layer as well, which is an iron trapdoor there. Iron trapdoor there. So see the... Um, on the, like, the Imperial Star Destroyer, the bottom slope here is pretty much the same as the one up there. And obviously excluding the big tower at the top. On the Resurgent, the top slope actually goes a bit further back and is a different angle. So I missed this uh, trapdoor here. But now we've put it there, it's on the top block next to the light blue, um, well, the chiseled stone brick, basically. Do another iron trap door on top, like that, and that's our starting point, essentially. And we're then going to take a smooth stone slab, and we need to do one of those, essentially on top of the light blue glass pane. And then a stone slab in front. I'll do that again on this side. Take the stone bricks block, one there, polished stone brick. This is going to be two andesite to the left of that one. Stone brick in the middle, stone on the left, andesite there, and then this one here is going to be a top half smooth stone slab like that. Okay. Uh, take that one might be a slab actually, thinking about it. Um. Essentially. Yeah, we'll see in a minute anyway. Take the stone slab again. And we're going to do one, two, three, four, and might just be four actually. Yeah, four. And then top half polished andesite slab now. Three of those. And then again, four stone slabs like that. We'll put the andesite block here for now, even though it might be uh, changed in a second. Top half, smooth stone slab. Oh, actually, it might be a stair. Yeah, I think it's a stair. Polish underside stairs there. And there as well. That's it. I'm leaving it there for now. <laughs> it can stay like that. Uh, this is going to be a stone brick block again. Same as the other side. I am doing both sides this time. Um, I'll treat you. Two underside blocks. And then a stone in that gap. Um, for this bit here, to cover this up, we need to take a polished andesite stair once more. And that's going to be just one there and one there on that side. And then the rest is going to be three full blocks. Three full blocks of polished. Andesite, andesite, polished in the middle. And then one behind just to cover that uh, wall up. You can see it kind of matches top to bottom, which is very lovely. Very cool. Um, and definitely a a good time. Andesite is going to go uh, just a diagonal to this. And then polished. This is going to be andesite, stone bricks, and then polished. Do two polished andesite behind these two. Same again on this side. So just one at a diagonal there. And then the polished uh, andesite, stone brick, and then the polished andesite. And two behind it. Take cyan terracotta now. This is part of the details on the front. We're going to do... That's a lot of blocks. Hang on one, one minute. One, two, three. I'm counting this out as I go. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I believe. So again, nine on this side. Should take you just up to there, I think it was. Yeah, definitely looks like nine. And then three at a diagonal here, three a diagonal here, and then this can just join up to the middle. Do three here, three on this one, diagonal three, diagonal three, and then this is going to be a three by three, and then two at the front. In this gap here I would recommend putting uh, just some blocks like cyan, like that. I'm guessing it was something I missed off the previous layer because there needs to be an anvil there, so it's clearly not just going to float, so it needs to uh, have something underneath it. I guess I must have left something off again. Take the um, polished andesite stairs. We'll do all these, get them out of the way. One's going to go on the very first cyan block, and then one's also going to go on the third cyan block. One's going to go on this set of three here, one there, one there. 
and then also another one on this 3x3 we made one facing towards the back and then here is going to be one there like that and there same again we'll just uh, copy this over just like so uh, we're going to do stem brick walls now get those out of the way grab that and we're going to do one there one there another one's going to go here and on this one quickly do that on this side as well there we go um, another one is going to go between those stairs and that's going to be it now we're going to do grindstones get those out of the way um, and also while you're at it just grab anvils as well then we only need a couple of those uh, so that first anvil is going to go here next to the wall skip two and do another anvil go to this stair here facing backwards do another anvil and that's basically it for the anvils apart from one more right on the front just like that okay take a hopper now and we're going to do a hopper just on this one here and on this one as well facing towards it again and then another one there another one there Okay, take a full block of polished andesite. We need a couple of these. One's going to go just here. Another one's going to go between those walls. Another one is... That's it, actually. Forget forget that. I didn't say anything. <laughs> so just on those ones. Like so. Okay, take the stone slab. One's going to go there. With light grey carpets on either side. And then we're going to need our grindstones now. We're going to do one here. And a second one is going to go where the hopper is. Wait, what am I looking at here? No, not that one. This one. So there like that. Uh, another one is going to go there, like I said, where the hoppers are. And then one on each of these anvils facing towards each other. Like that. Okay. Finally, <laughs> grab a skeleton skull. And we're going to do the first one just here, and then the second one is going to go just there. And there we go. So that's like all the greebling you need to do for the uh, superstructure at the top. We just need a few slabs and... Uh, actually, yeah, just a few slabs, that's it. It's going to be polished andesite. Um, stone and smooth stone as well. And we also need normal andesite. And then we can just get this done. So it's going to be from the full block of stone brick here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One inwards. Two stone there. Skip one. Two stone. Skip one. Two andesite. And then smooth slabs in the gap. Again. Just like two there. Two there. And then two andesite. Very simple stuff now. There you go. And that's going to do it for that layer, I think. That's everything from what I can tell. And I'm just checking for any gaps. I don't see any yet. Uh, you can get rid of these temporary blocks here. And also the ones underneath. We don't really need them now, do we? So that's fine. And yeah, that's going to be it for that layer. So let's move on. I haven't even been narrating what layer is which. But it's going to have been on screen. So you'll surely be in the right place. Um, let's count this actually. I think it's two, three, four, five. S I've lost count. I have literally just got lost count already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, layer eight, I think. Yeah, let's move on to that. Right, for the next layer up of the superstructure, which is going to be obviously above this, uh, we're going to take the materials of stone, andesite, polished andesite, stone bricks, cyan terracotta, stone slab, smooth stone slab, polished andesite slab, and light grey carpet. I'm going to start off at the anvil here. Um, I just destroyed a carpet there. There we go. So the anvil is going to be a light grey carpet on top. And then we need an iron trap door. Um, so I'm just going to put this. Yeah, it's fine. Throw that down to there. Get the iron trap door. One, two, three, four, five of those. Probably should have had the trap doors to begin with, but it's fine. There we go. So five of those. And then we're also going to do a set of five uh, carpets. Just next to it. And then also a set of three, one, two, and three. 
and one, two, and three there as well. So it should look like that. Take the smooth stone slab now. We're gonna do five in a row, just behind it. Two there, two on that side. The light gray carpet is gonna be one, two, and three. And again, one, two, and three. So you should have this so far. Then we're gonna go uh, to the center here. We need andesite slab now as well. Um, so I'd probably get rid of, yeah, we can probably do the cyan after. So if you um, throw the cyan away, just grab andesite slab, do two of those, two of those here, and then two polished andesite slabs in the middle. This is gonna be a stone slab here, one, and then two andesite ones. Again, one, two andesite ones uh, go there. This is going to be three polished andesite four blocks in the middle. I'm going to take stone stairs now. And it's going to be three on that side, three on that side. Just like that. Take the light grey carpets again um, and the polished andesite slab. Do three polished, three polished, and then three carpets as well. Uh, so one, two, and three. And again, there we go. Take polished andesite stairs now. Um, where did we use them? There we go, grab those. And we're gonna do one just here next to the polished andesite slabs. Two, three, we need to do seven in total. Four, five, six, and the seventh one is gonna be a corner one. Um, however, obviously I don't have a block there, so I'm gonna kind of do that essentially. It should be seven in total of the stairs and then just another corner one here. Do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh one is gonna be cornered and then one, uh, another corner there like that. Take stone brick stairs now. I'm gonna do five of those. One, two, three, four, five. And again, just like that. Take the polished andesite, two of those, two here as well. And then now we're gonna go back to this side here. Take the polished andesite slab, do three of those. And then three smooth stone slabs. One here, one here. Polished andesite slab in the middle and to the left. Then do a smooth stone slab. Four polished andesite slabs. And this is gonna be stone brick slabs two of those just like that take the light gray carpets do one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then three here and again we're going to do the same on this side we'll do it in a different order this time so one two three four five six seven eight nine just like that three don't throw that away <laughs> polished andesite uh, it's gonna be like a little shape there with the smooth stone. That's an andesite. That's a smooth stone. Four andesite, and then two stone brick slabs. So I think that's uh, the same on both sides now. Yeah, that's that's good. That's fine. Take the stone brick slabs again. Two of those. Two of those here. Obviously, an indent to uh, of one there, like that. Stone slab behind it, and then we're gonna do an andesite block behind the uh, the slabs. A stone brick block as well. Let's see if I could find one. I don't think, uh, I think this is one. There we go. Stone brick there, stone brick there. Uh, and then it's gonna be two polished andesite. So just like that. All right. Take the stone slabs again. We're gonna do one, two, and three here. And this is going to be a smooth stone one. And then this is going to be an iron trap door um, just next to that. So it should go there like so. Take the cyan terracotta now. And we're going to do one behind the underside and then one in front. Just like that. And I'm going to do the, uh, the thing here as well before I forget. So it's three stone slabs, one smooth stone, and then a iron trap door. So sh the iron trap door should just go ab above this birch trap door from before as well. So yeah, just uh, bear that in mind. 
There's going to be another iron trap door here as well, and here. Thought I might as well get all the iron trap doors out of the way. That would make it a bit easier. Um, and then we're going to do three. Actually, no, I'm in the wrong place here. <laughs> Forget that. And uh, delete those. We're going to take stone, but I do want to get them out of the way, so we'll do this bit now. Take stone, put that here, and on this side, then it's going to be a top half smooth stone slab. Uh, take two andesite blocks and two there as well. Come to here, andesite, andesite. This is going to be a stone brick block on both sides. And then it's going to be four polished andesite. Like that. And four here as well. And then this is where we do the iron trap door. So one there, one there, three top half polished andesite slabs. Then this is a stone brick there and there, and then polished andesite in the middle. That should cover everything up nicely. So that's uh, that's good. And um, we still have this middle bit to do though. So that's, uh, that's something I guess. Uh, we also need to fill in these gaps here. So if you take the stone block, put that there on on that side. I can't reach it. I'll do it in a second. Two stone bricks, and then same again. The final thing for this layer is to take some anvils. I know I've got one somewhere. Um, here we go, anvil. We're going to do two of those on this side, two of those on that side. Cyan in the middle. Five cyan behind. Uh, three here. And then this just goes all the way across to uh, just one short of that stair there. So basically this one. Uh, so if I count it until it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight before it reaches the three there. So there we go. Yeah, that looks right to me. Cool. And from there, I think that is pretty much everything for that layer. I don't think I've missed anything. Um, obviously, we're getting quite close to reaching the top now. As you can see, there's very little space needs filling in. Um. You could probably fit like a bridge in here or something, like a mini little bridge. Uh, didn't do it for this model, but there is one in the Venator um, 1 to 10 when that comes out. So, yeah, look forward to that. Anyway, let's move on to the next layer. I have no idea what we're on, but <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, starting this one off, keep the same materials. Let's go to here, do smooth stone slab, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on top of the anvils. Nice little start there, and then another one behind on each end. Take the stone slabs, three of those, one anvil in the middle, then we're also going to do one there and one here as well. Obviously, that's skipping kind of two blocks, I guess. And so, just like that. Take the stone brick wall, we're going to do one of those on either side. And we're also going to take stone bricks there. I don't know what I've just thrown away, I probably needed that. Um, but I guess we'll see, won't we? Stone bricks there, there, and on this side. Take the sign terracotta again, one and two. Then we're going to do three, three, and then we're going to do five. That's one set of five there, and we're actually going to do four of those. So it should be just like that, and then you can fill that in as well. There we go. And then also just one extra on the corners, I guess, like that. Well, the ends. Take the polished and sight. One and two, so that should be seven wide now in total, but you don't need to fill in the middle. Uh, and then we're going to go back on this inside one by five to make six in total. So just like that. Coming back to the front here, we're going to take the polished andesite stairs. Do two of those on this side, two of those there. I'm just trying to see if there's any more polished andesite stairs, but it doesn't like it, so... Uh, throw that away, and we take the andesite slabs again. Um, or actually, I don't think we need them for this layer. It's just all the other slabs that we need. Uh, so grab polished andesite slab, do two of those. One stone slab there. This is going to be two smooth stone slabs. And then a polished andesite one. We'll do the same on this side so we don't get sidetracked. Um, that was a stone one there, and two polished andesite. So you can see it kind of overhangs here, which is good. It just adds depth, I guess, to the to the top of the hull, which is nice. Five stone slabs, like so. Polished, polished, three, smooth stone in the middle. 
There we go. Coming to here now, it's going to be a stone slab, two polished, two iron trap doors. Like that. Coming to here, it's five polished andesite slabs. Five again. We're going to do on the third one a iron trap door. And on the second one is going to be a light grey carpet. Just like that. It's going to be stone slab one, two, three. And then this is going to be three signed terracotta just there. Andesite block in the middle. Two polished. This is going to be a stone brick block. Then it's going to be a andesite. And then a stone brick block again. Okay. Um, I will need to check if uh, this has a carpet on it. It might not, but I will. I will check for next layer. Um, so it doesn't really make a difference anyway. But whatever. But other than that, I think uh, that's it for this layer. So let's move on to what might be the final section. I'm not sure. It's either the final or second to last section. So let's do that. Right, so this is uh, actually the last section. Uh, there was no carpet there. It is just an iron trap door top half. I very rarely ever do that, but I guess it was part of the shape um, for this back bit. So whatever, it's fine. Polished andesite slab. We're going to do three of those here on top of the uh, anvil and stone bricks there. Four backwards to make five in total on either side. Three stone. And then it's going to be two stone brick slabs as well. Like that stone slab on either side and then another four polished andesite slabs on either side again like that take the polished andesite stairs now one um two and then corner it and then bring that around again and then do three polished andesite in the middle and then just a random block in here i guess uh just do polished andesite it's fine Take the stone brick stairs now. Um, so there they are. And this is going to kind of make the the wings on either side. Um, I mean, not wings, they're not wings. They're kind of uh, part of the bridge, I suppose. Um, but I don't really know what to call them. I know boats have um, the kind of decks to the, well, not to the side, but on the side of the bridge, there's like a lookout points so you can have a better view of the ship. And that's essentially what these are, um, from what I understand. Well, I might be completely wrong by that. I'm not a ship expert in Star Wars, so don't quote me on anything. It's going to be a stone brick stair there, and another one. Two polished on the side, and then two stone brick stairs upside down again, like that. Um, we're then going to take a stone slab, put that there. And then it's going to be two smooth stone slabs behind it. In the gap here, just put uh, three same terracotta, same on this side. I'm just going to do the same again here, uh, like like that, and then another top half stone slab is going to go there. This is going to be three iron trap doors on top, and then three stone brick slabs are going to go on the very top, so just here. Uh, moving to the back part of it now, so we do these on the other side as well before we forget. Take three polish, uh, not polish, just normal andesite in the middle. And um, you can do just a stone block here, and then polished andesite stairs, uh, normal on either side, and one on the back, like that. Two smooth stone slabs, two again. One stone slab here. Smooth stone slab, iron trap door, iron trap door, and then a light grey carpet is going to go on the very back there, like that. So you've got these weird, weird tapers. Um, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna look really uh, really good when it's done, but I mean I just don't understand like a lot of what's going on here. There's a lot of just like layers on top of layers for this for this ship. Um, it's very weird and confusing, but oh well. Take the light grey carpet. You're gonna put one, two, and three, and then on the back it's gonna be just two. Uh, we're gonna take a wither skeleton skull, and this is only gonna be on the left hand side. So this this one here. And we're going to put that just here facing towards the back. And then we're also going to take these heavy weighted pressure plates. That's going to go on both of the stone slab top halves. Take a iron bar. 
That's going to go on this polished underside on the right hand side. And then there's going to be a stone button. That's going to go there. And I think I think that might be everything. Um, the fair chance it's... Yeah, I mean, it looks like it. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> that's the, the Resurgent uh, class Star Destroyer done. A very large tutorial. Um, surprisingly, even at 1 to 50, this is still pretty massive. And the 1 to 10 is, you know, like, um, I think it's about 230 blocks or something like that. Somewhere near that mark anyway. So yeah, let's get shaders on. We'll do a little post build showcase as we always do. I think I clicked the wrong shader there. That's uh, not very good. Let me see. Oh no, all right, that's fine. That's the one I normally use. Um, ooh, went out full screen there, wrong button. Let's turn the time to, let's say 9,000 so you can get a good view of this. Oh no, that's even worse. Let's say 1,000. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Nice sunrise. Very good little build. Um, obviously, it's very dependent on where you want to use this because, you know, it's not perfect for you know a level of detail. You can't really use it as like a play feature. Um, but I mean, if you just want something neat to show off to your friends, say, hey, look, it's the uh, the resurgent star destroyer from the sequel trilogy. You can definitely show this off. So let me know what you want to see next. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Uh, leave a little like if you enjoyed the video because it really helps me in my dying throat which is probably going to kill me off at some point because um, I do a lot of talking and make sure to uh, leave a comment and uh, you know if you, if you want to see more you, know, you can always subscribe to the channel <laughs> anyway guys thank you for watching um, and I'll see you later bye bye Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Massive thanks to all the current Patreon supporters who help make content such as what you just watched possible. Please check out the link in the description if you're interested in supporting the channel. There's awesome rewards on offer for your contributions too. So thanks!